What's up guys, Dustin here with Snowman Creek Outdoors. We're out here at the beautiful Bullard's Bar in Northern California. I'm out here with Devin and his father's out here with us today. We're gonna be drop shotting, throwing shaky heads. If you guys don't know what Bullard's Bar is, you guys should check out Paul Bailey, Tim Little. Those dudes caught world record spotted bass out of here in the upwards of 11 pounds. So that's what we're gonna go after today. Not saying that's what we're gonna catch, but it's pretty exciting to know that any cast could be a giant out here. So stay tuned. Man, I dug that intro, just maybe you just wanna head beat and rage and rock out there. Before we get into the video, gonna make an apology. The audio quality is not that great in some of the clips. We had like 30 mile an hour wind, so it was blowing like crazy. We put some sound in, so it's not super painful for you guys to have to hear the whole time. So, stay tuned for the video. Also, in the comments, we get some of our subscribers that are beginners that want us to break things down. Some of our subscribers are intermediate. They don't need for us to break down all the tackle. So for our beginners out there that want to know exactly what we're doing, stay tuned for the very end. About 13 minutes in, we're gonna break everything down, how we set up everything. Stay tuned. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, I'm fat. <laughs> Yeah, little guy. Oh, wow. That's a big one for the day. First spot of the day. First spot of my life. Honestly, all the fishing I've ever done in my life, this was actually the first time I ever caught a spotted bass. Second little spot of the day. Guess we're in the nursery. Just lost the little one. Spot number two. We got two fish. I got two little squeakers. Dustin's lost a couple bites. I yep. lost a bite or two. So, you know, we're exploring the new lake. So, we'll see what happens. Right now we're drop shotting and throwing shaky heads. It's ultra cold out here. It's probably, I don't know, low 40s you think right now, right? No, it's still in the 30s for sure. Oh, he thinks it's still in the 30s. It's chilly out here. We got out here, it was like 36. So it's pretty cold, water's about 55. They drop shotting. Oh, man. Yep, there's fish right there. So far. Oh, not in the uh, no, bigger. Look bigger. Oh, you know, that's, that's like probably two pounder. Okay, third fish of the day. Definitely getting better in size. So hopefully we can work up to like a five, six pounder. Oh, fish, fish, watch out. Oh, that's a hooker. Yeah. Yeah, good one. No. Squeaker. They're right here. Nice drop 
straight down the street. I know. Cut, time out. Camera's died. We caught a couple fish off camera, so I'm gonna blow up a map right here and we're gonna talk about it. So this is an aerial map of Bullard's Bar. This picture's actually taken with the water level a bit higher than when we were out. This point right here, I caught a fish and Devin caught a fish. I caught one on a shaky head, Devin caught one on a drop shot. Right across the way, there was like an island top sticking out of the water and Devin caught three fish on the drop shot. Nothing was big, it was about the size of the other fish you guys already saw on camera. Midday update. Devin's caught six or seven fish on the drop shot. I've caught one fish on the shaky head. I've lost a few in the shaky head. Devin's dad lost a few in the shaky head. He was kind of just doing a slow retrieve on the bottom, which makes me think I might start throwing a Kitek here and slowly creeping it on bottom. We're just fishing anywhere there's structure points or anywhere where the bank's different. Like if you have a lot of mud bank and it turns into rock or rock where it turns into mud bank, that's where we're catching the fish so far. Uh, just made this run back in here. We're gonna continue throwing shaky heads drop shots, see if we can catch some fish. Oh, a lot of the fish we've been catching have been on the graph. We've been dropping straight down on them, catching them, bringing them to the boat. Five pounders coming soon. Coming to the surface, dude. This is a better, dude, I think. No. Little guy? I don't know, dude. Get him up here. Oh, it's pretty decent. Is he or no? No, it's small, dude. Little baby. Oh, it's a little football, dude. Yeah, I guess. Just caught this one, little football, look how fat he is. Caught that on a little football head with a Kitek. Fish ruined it, gonna go put another one of these things on. There we go guys, we are just in the land of the giants today. Another fish on the Kitek. Fish crushed it, absolutely hammered it. Gonna see if we catch a few more. You're in the nursery. Bam! About five inches. Have it healthy though, though huh? Squeaker. Give you a little one. Oh yeah. Nursery. Another squeaker. I was playing with some cameras because we had some batteries that died, but caught this little one off camera. Pretty funny. My rod was just sitting in the water. I'm like, hey dude, watch my rod just in case, you know, if it's going off or anything. And he's like, hey, I think you're getting a bite. I think you're getting a bite. And he had this jig rod in one hand and he picks up my other rod and then he sets and he's like, you're in a fish, you're in a fish. So I, I reeled it in and I was just kind of crazy. It was a sight to see. Yeah, it was a sight to see. I wish the camera was recording, but nonetheless, little fish. Good one? Nope. Nope, nope, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Probably 
Another one there, guys. What are you doing, man? You clipping anyone else? Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. We caught about, I don't know, 15 fish or so today? Something like that. He caught mostly fish on drop shots. Drop shot, lost a good one on a jig. Yeah, yeah, that was the heartbreak of the day. Mm -hmm. He got a super good bite on the jig, and it wasn't a little jig, it was a big three quarter ounce jig, so had to have been a good size fish. Um, I caught a lot of fish at the end of the day on a little football head style shaky head that had a screw lock, and I had a Kitek tied on there. Um, water was like 56 degrees most of the day. It was our first time out here, so not a bad day, about 15 fish. Yeah, we didn't do too bad. Um, if you guys like this video or feel generous, make sure you guys send down a like below or comment and then please subscribe to our channel. We got tons of new videos coming up here pretty soon, so we're excited for that. And we so, got Kokanee tomorrow. Yep, Kokanee tomorrow. See you next time. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. A majority of the fish today were caught on two baits. Number one was a drop shot and number two was a football style shaky head. If you're not familiar with what a drop shot are, I'm sure most of you are, you have a little size one you know, hook, you have a weight, this is a quarter ounce weight, and we're running about a one foot liter between the hook and the weight. The weight sits on the bottom, it lets the worm float around on top. The two baits we were using with the drop shot were a rubber worm, this is Aaron's Morning Dawn, and then this is a KVD, this is a Dream Shot, and the color is Sexy Shack. So those were the two baits that were thrown on the drop shot the most. Devin was catching a lot of fish in the very beginning uh, on a drop shot, and he was casting it out, letting it get to bottom. I hope you guys are paying attention to the clips. When I had it fast forwarded, look how long that bait is sitting in the water, and he's just dead soaking it there. I mean, he's moving a little bit at a time, but a lot of the bites came on a dead soak. So we were definitely fishing very slow to get these bites. The other bait that we were fishing was a shaky head, and this is a Dirty Jigs. It's a stand-up shaky head, so it's gonna sit on the bottom of the water, perfectly flat, just like that. The one thing about this bait is it has a very stout hook. So if you're using light spinning tackle, using light line, light rod, it's gonna take a lot to give that fish. If they bite, you're gonna to have to really get a good hook set. And I had two fish come off, and I believe they came off because it was the more stout hook. So we do have a second video, which is gonna come out in about a week. Make sure you guys watch that because we make a couple adjustments and one of the adjustments we make was going to a thinner diameter hook, which you get easier hook sets. Something else that I noticed that happened which caused me to tie on this exact bait right here was Devin's dad was throwing a dream shot and he was throwing that on the shaky head and he got bit twice and it seemed like a good fish. His drag was almost locked and this fish was pulling drag. I think that he lost a pretty good sized fish. And when he was working this thing, he was almost just a slow retrieve on the bottom of the water. That shaky head was just constantly bought, you know, hitting bottom of water and it was a slow retrieve. And I thought, hey, you know, this kind of looks like a shad, even though there's no shad in Bullard's Bar, it looks like a shad. So I thought I'm gonna tie on this right here, which is a football head and a 3.8 inch Kitek. Once I tied this on, I started getting bit right away. You guys saw towards the end of the video, you caught quite a few fish. I wish that I would have had this tied on the entire day. I feel like if I had this tied on the entire day, we would have went to Hamtown. It was our first time fishing this lake together, and my first time being to the lake. Devin's been to the lake before fishing Kokanee, so definitely was a learning experience. A couple other details for you guys. We were fishing Thanksgiving Day. So if you guys are going to look at this video, you know, a year later or whatever, this was Thanksgiving Day. Water temps were between 54 and 57 most of the day. Um, it was a post front. There was rain there the day before. I hope this tackle breakdown helped you guys. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. It's a ton of fun. We catch a fish on a big bait. Stay tuned.